I can't see you. I just see that you're a big turned, pretty goth GF. I haven't I haven't turned on my video yet. Well, let me see them big titties. I really didn't. I I, I really. We're we're going no sleeves today. Don't we always? No. Fair. I almost went no sleeves, but then I was like, "Ooh, look at my shirt." So no sleeves today. Yeah. I was like, I, I gotta, I gotta wear the Tell shirt. Boy. Yeah. I should probably change my name. This is my OnlyFans. <laughs> Only Dan's. Let's see who should we be today. Probably. Bye. All right. So uh, before we get started on anything, um, partially because you know I do want you to know about this, but also because they're uh, a partner of ours now. I think I mentioned last time um, that we did the Bad Boy stream that we had a, a code that we can use for um, what do they call them? They're like a, a they make dice vaults. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like little storage things. So yeah, it's a Draven, it's like Ravenwood, but with a D at the beginning. Sure. And yeah, they're they're super cool. Um, so <clears throat> they, they sent me some stuff to be like. Hey, you know, say these things about it. So it says they can hold up to five sets of standard size dice or like some chonky boys, you know, because we love the chonky boys. Example A, for sure. And they've got a bunch of fantastic premium hardwood choices that honestly, like half of these I've not even heard of. So sounds pretty exotic, pretty neat to me. Just follow them on TikTok. <laughs> nice. I didn't. Actually, I don't even think I knew that they had a TikTok. <laughs> wow, you're a great spokesperson. I know, right? I, I mean, we're, we're mutuals on Instagram. So, um, yeah. So the really cool thing is like all of the dice vault lids can be used as like a rolling tray. Um, not a drug rolling tray, but maybe. Um, and then they can either have like leather or faux leather. And the really, really cool thing that, like, eventually I need to get around to ordering a custom one for myself is they can do custom laser engraving on the outside. I mean, probably within reason, but am I going to get a hemp one? Absolutely. Hemp out. <laughs> so, yeah, check them out at uh, Draven. Like I said a second ago, that is like Ravenwood with a D at the beginning. Uh, dot com and you can use code ham to get a discount i assume 15 percent off i don't know i forgot to ask maybe it's supposed to be ham one and a half so you get one and a half percent off <laughs> absolutely that is the best discount possible so yeah um also you know check out our friends at geckos media a little squinty squinty eyes check out our boys at geckos and grottos and geckos media in general yeah and also so, are not boys. Yeah. Boys, girls, everybody. In between, in between, you know, all that. All that. As soon as I muted, she's like, oh, I'm just going to be sad now. Pretend like I didn't just bark. Oh, I didn't want you to have to mute your game. Uh, Dad, I'm can you pause your game real quick? I just need to bark. It's an online game. You can't pause it. <laughs> uh, the boys are waiting. They need me. Me with my 0.3 KDR. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you guys wouldn't have won. I got to carry this fucking team all the time. Do be like that. I really do. So uh, to recap, since you were like, I don't remember anything we did last time. Yes. Um, yeah. So... Last time. I um, I don't remember. Yeah, that's okay. I <laughs> did not either. Like, I remembered bits and pieces of it. And the really bad thing is, like, I was not intoxicated. <laughs> Me neither. I was just very distracticated. I wish I'd been intoxicated. Okay, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, last time, you guys met Neon, Nicholas's mm -hmm. brother, played by our good buddy John. Uh being Dale Gribble instead of his normal Alabama self. Um, so Dale Gribble, okay. 
a little. I remember, I, I remember that part. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so you guys ended up going to uh, the Pandoros School of Magic, mm-hmm. yes. which, you know, you guys have been told a couple of sessions ago that that's what you were going to do. You're going to go undercover. And uh, you Hello, guys got there. Wizards. What? Hello, fellow wizards. I mean, not everybody there is a wizard. Like they have they clerics and paladins nope. and bards and stuff. Nope. Okay. Nope. Yep. Nope. All wizards. That's canon. Bai has been a wizard this whole time. I forget. Is Bai a cleric? Bai is whatever I wanted to be. But yes, he's a cleric. Okay. Um, Somewhere in my character sheet. It's okay. You don't need a character sheet. Who needs that? Uh, so, <clears throat> Bayon did see his uh, OTP, his one true love, Kina, meaning like his most recent one true love. The big woman. Yeah. Um, she is one of the teachers there. You were definitely trying to hit on her. Oh, no. I, she I, shut I, that shit down. No, no. I was hitting on her. <laughs> I wasn't trying. Oh, it just didn't yeah. work. Okay. Well, let, me, let me correct myself. You were hitting on her. And she's like, now get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, she wanted me to fight her lizard gecko, fire gecko thing. Spider. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. So um, after that, you guys went to the Warty Hog. Um, I think we said it was a tavern. Maybe it was a cafe. One of the two. It was like a tavern restaurant. It's like your, I think you described it pretty much as like the basic D tavern. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's basic as fuck. Um, My sunburn. Ooh, look at you going outside and stuff. I know. Who does that? Me. Anyway. Um, anyway, yeah. So you guys went to the Warty Hog Tavern. Which, as you might remember, is also how you guys got in through the secret entrance. Um, this time you did not use the secret entrance. You just used the front door like a normal person. Um, and there, where we left off, there were a group of students playing Mage Hand Ball, which is basically like wizard air hockey. I remember that because uh, Normalitas was very excited. Yeah. It was a game. Oh, that and I mean, Normalitas is probably going to excel at. It will probably someday be the MVP of the team. <laughs> yeah, because it's an eSport. And Neon was just like, all right, I'm leaving to watch NASCAR. And then he's going to go drive his 18-wheel cart around the, the country of New Alexandria. Make it's an empire, sir. Get it right. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's all, right. all the same. So anyway, yeah, where we, where we left off was uh, the three of you were – kind of watching and you saw as the previous team was uh, leaving one of the competitors shed a single tear which apparently is some movie reference that I did not get at all and I was right. the only one on the entire podcast who didn't get that reference John uh, Depp movie oh okay at least now I know what we're talking about loosely never seen it still but there's a woman in the movie named Hatchet Face or something like that that's a great name I'm surprised Absolutely. you haven't seen it. It seems like it would have been right up your alley whenever we were in high school, to be, perf- to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> yeah, who knows? It's a mystery to me. Um, anyway, so that's where you guys left off. And uh, since we are short two people due to mm-hmm. one of them having a job and the other, I don't, I don't know. I assume it's work. Um, I was, I was, I was, I'm pretty sure Tim also has a job. So, <laughs> But I don't know if that's why he's not here or if it was something mm-hmm. else. So it might be, it might be. Just so you guys know, I miss you both, Tim and John. Eric Tim. Big big smooches. (laughs) Tim's probably watching right now, like these losers. (laughs) All right. So uh, since they are not able to play, um, like I said, we're going to do a little M. Night Shyamalan here. And uh, so there is a, a, a ruckus in the kitchen so as you guys are kind of like seeing this game end you know possibly looking to get into esports yourself Mm -hmm. um, yes there's like a commotion this banging yelling like pots and pans hitting the floor you assume and you see that 
the head chef runs out and he's saying, it's too, it's too spicy. The steam, it's too hot. Hmm. He doesn't sound very Swedish, so I'm a little sad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Herfin, derfin, derkin, derkin. <laughs> Uh, I apologize to anyone Swedish watching this, right? Now. That's a freaking Muppet. I know. That's allowed. I didn't see Sweden try to cancel the Muppets, man. Yet. Yeah, well. Uh, I'm probably, wait, am I, I'm by myself, I'm assuming. Uh, so. Well, I I so I mean, Nikitas is still there. Neon seems to have wandered off probably to, you know, watch NASCAR. I'm just picturing kind of being like, you know how like in Final Fantasy, whenever you pick certain party members and the other party members are just kind of like hanging out? Yeah. That's what I'm picturing. Like I can walk up to Norm- Normalitas and be like, hey, and he'll be like, insert something witty and deep here. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you do see that like as this commotion starts up, he gets separated from you. Like the crowd is kind of shuffling about you guys get split up, but as things start to die down, um, or well, not really die down because it's still quite a commotion. There's something still going on back in the kitchen yes. and everybody's kind of like murmuring, like, what do we do? Uh, Cause obviously a lot of these people are probably freshmen and it's like their, their second day on campus. And they're like, I don't even know, man. Man. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Couch and chair are absolutely sitting in one of the booths. I hope I get to hear familiar voices of Elmoda. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'm going to... Inv- uh, I mean, I guess I better go to the kitchen and check out why the steam is so spicy. Okay. Being a d- dwarf of noble birth, I have enjoyed many great cuisines. Lean cuisine, <laughs> man meals... Banquet, helper. if you will. Uh, and I have found that I always enjoy adding red pepper flakes. <laughs> so I believe I may be the dwarf to solve the spicy steam mystery. Because everyone knows red pepper flakes are the hottest pepper that ever existed. Nothing spicier. <laughs> I mean, at least you didn't say pepper. Like, just pepper itself. Regular. Just black pepper. Yeah. yeah. I know people who think that's hot, so. Yeah, like a lot of white people. I know people who think that the tang of Miracle Whip is hot, and I'm just like, it's tang. It's not hot. What are you talking about? And it's like creamy and cool. It's a, do they not keep it in the fridge like a normal person? Well, then it would grow like real tang. Little bacteria tangs. <laughs> Shouldn't some have said kombucha, that. Some kombucha right there. Some kombuti. <laughs> I mean, all right. Um, so you are like going, this? what? Why am I like this? <laughs> yes, that's why. Um, so you head towards the kitchen. Um, what are you doing yes. to investigate this? Well, I'm going to look around. Is there anybody nearby who doesn't seem to be freaking out in the kitchen? No, they Maybe are all calm. They are all 100% freaking out. You see, so as you like peer through the doors, of this kitchen, you see that uh, like all of the the backroom staff are like up on tables and on like preparation areas. It's very unhygienic for sure. Not up to health code standards at all. It does not Uh, sound that way. And you see three creatures kind of there in the middle. Um, Roll probably like a history check. Maybe Arcana. Just tell me which one. Yes. I got an 18 base. And if it's history, then it's plus three. And if it's arcana, it's plus one. So it's either 19 or 21. I mean, either way, with an 18 by itself, like you definitely know uh, that these are steam methods. Ah, yes. I learned that in my class with the big woman. Yes. When all you did was show up late to that class, find out you had a test. Read that's... the book, though. That's canon now. <laughs> that's debatable. All right. Um, Steam meth heads. Perfect. Yes. Uh, well, 
They live around here. <laughs> if there's one thing I know about steam, it's that it's very hot. It is uh, pretty spicy. You might I say. learned that from the movie The Bone Collector, where that person gets killed by steam. I need to watch that. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. Shout out to the, the Bone Collector. <laughs> Shout out to the Bone Collector. <laughs> Just the uh, dude in the movie, like not not even the director, not the movie itself, just like the dude in the movie. Yes. I'm gonna cast is it thaumaturgy that lets me yell loudly? Yep. I would like to use thaumaturgy, if I'm saying that right. I believe so. I don't know. Uh and try and like get everybody calmed down, just like with a very loud booming voice, like everybody, here's Mambo number five, or whatever would <laughs> calm them down. I don't know. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's what you say. Um, are you? What's yelling? going on in here? Okay, or so you're you're yelling at like the kitchen staff. Yeah, just trying to get like. I'm assuming if there's this clamoring, clattering, screaming, running, hollering ass people, it's loud. So I need to be even oh, louder. Yeah. So yeah, because like not only are up there, ugh, not only are they up on like the tables and the prep areas, they're tossing like pots and pans and stuff. At these methods, trying to like scare them off, you can sure. presume. Sure. Um, and so, as you yell this out, they all are just like, "Oh, thank God!" And they all just like clamor around you to get out. And as they are heading out, Nikitas walks in and says, "Ah, yes, Bion, what's going on here?" This is not how Nikitas talks. <laughs> ah, yes. Bye on. Hello. It is me, your good friend, Nikitas. <laughs> uh, roll an insight check. Bye on. 19 plus. Three. So 21. No, 22. 20, 20 yeah, 22 numbers you don't do those for a living or anything i'll tell you right now i don't even like playing D &D anymore <laughs> uh too much math <laughs> yeah just all day. like i do this all fucking day i don't want to do it again <laughs> my character sheet is not balanced at all broken so AF. this will never pass an auditor <laughs> yeah oh uh, yep the irs is coming right for buy on um so as Nikitas says this, you're like, this is 100% not Nikitas. It looks like him, or at least the last time you saw him, but it yeah. definitely does not act like him. His name is not Katas. <laughs> not Katars, not Katos. I would like to pretend like I believe that he's Nikitas, though. Okay, roll a deception check. Twelve. <laughs> okay um so what do you what do you say to him in response uh i'm gonna if i if i'm passing i'm going to i'm gonna pretend like like you know oh hey buddy uh i don't do you know what's going on in here like i just heard a commotion and i came in to check he's like no it's it's my first day at school i have no idea what's going on bye on oh it's it's your first day <laughs> <laughs> mine too Wow, what a coincidence. Good thing yeah. we're on this. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Um, yep. So what are cool. we doing here? Cool. Well, I think you should... What, what forms can you turn into right now? Um, Do you, can you, know, you turn into something that can take out the... That can help us take out this trash? And I point to the steam methods. And he just turns into Danny DeVito as the trash man. <laughs> I'm the trash man. I come in and I just start throwing trash everywhere. <laughs> so, I mean, he does immediately transform into a uh, short, rotund, balding man Beautiful. in a, a leotard. Yeah. Beautiful. He just invented spandex right now. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. So he's like, well, this might do it. That was the fastest shift I've ever seen. Actually, I don't think you've ever shifted in front of me, Nikitas. We've, oh. reached, a, we've reached a new uh, level in our friendship, I guess. Yep, I just trust you so much. We've been Maybe partners for so many days. Maybe one of these days you'll actually tell me where you're from. 
I'm from New Alexandria. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I know you. I. Oh. Sorry, I was just telling you not to talk for a second so I could get no. her to shut up, but you can go ahead. I stopped talking. Oh, I meant once I was muted, it was cool. I didn't care. Oh, uh, well, Nikitas, since, since I know that you have always been, you know, our leader in combat, I know you're the strongest amongst our whole group. Yes. I really need you to, to take the lead here and, and, and combat. Our whole group of the two of us, yes. Well, am... you know, we have other group members sometimes. You, you remember, you remember Neon. Oh, yes. Uh... And, you know, Demetrios. Uh, yes, I remember Dimitri. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Well, uh, you know, since you're so good at combat, uh, how about you initiate and then I will uh, back you up as per, as per normal. He says, oh, I, I forgot to bring my weapon. Uh, I'd, like to hand him, I'd like to hand him like... I have a cudgel. Okay. So I so give like him a, like a club. Yeah. Okay. Remember He's something. like, ah, yes, I use this all the time. Thank you. Yes, for yes. That it's it's me. standard issue at the at the department. I'm surprised you didn't bring yours. It's it's odd. You are so forgetful, though. Yes, that is how I am all the time. Perfect. Perfect. Well, please. <laughs> Feel free. I mean, these little fellas, they look quite feisty, but nothing you can't handle. I I'm, I know. And so he's hes holding this cudgel very awkwardly, and he says, well, you know, actually, you could use the experience, so why don't you go ahead and go first, and I'll, I'll supervise. Hmm. I mean... Hmm. That sounds like a great idea, <laughs> and I really could use the experience, but... You know, last time I took the lead, we wound up getting fired, almost. I've never been fired in my life, yet. <laughs> That's why I said almost. <laughs> I really believe you should take the lead. You are the ranking officer, after all. Okay. So, as you say that, um, roll a dexterity check. That would be a 16. 19 nice. minus 3. Okay. <laughs> In case anybody out there is watching, my dexterity is garbage. I rolled a really bad roll on that one, and I did not re-roll it. It <laughs> plays into the character. So, all three of these methods unleash their steam breath. So, Ooh, it is three 15-foot cones of scalding steam. That is 45 so, feet. Both of you, both of you say, well, I mean, they're like kind of in a line, more or less. Um, okay. So both of you passed the deck save, so you only take half damage, so you only take eight. Well, that's better than 16. 16. Yeah. There's a smidge better. Whew. It is getting quite toasty in here, Nikitas. That was quite warm. Uh, could you please begin your combat? No. He says, oh, or do you have a do you have a plan that we can maybe do? He says, Oh, I, I did. You see how that one looks kind of roughed up? Do I notice if one of them looks kind of roughed up? Uh, roll a perception check or investigation. Nat 20. Nice. Yeah, none of them look roughed up at all. Other than like maybe they got hit by a pot or a pan or something, but of nothing course. since nothing, you came into the room. Nothing weird, weird a toss would have done. Yeah. Not a toss. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Do you think if I cast a spell magic on not a toss? Okay. Uh, do something I'm thinking. Because I feel like I need to probably worry about the monsters. But also, not a toss has me very... Has all my attention right now. And so, as you're kind of pondering, just immediately, his face shifts, and he becomes not quite 
as he's not like the skeletal thin that the doppelgangers are in all of the pictures I knew but it. like but i knew it yeah i mean he just he shifts and he's like a normal build person like just an average kind of person um and he does have a mouth but otherwise like gray bland resemble like he could be a cousin of a doppelganger for sure i immediately throw back my cape and put my hand on my service weapon my hand crossbow he says look i i mean i was sent here telemon doesn't think you guys are going to do a very good job so i'm supposed to be helping out um, making sure uh, that you don't totally ruin this investigation so i'm just filling in okay well then fill in he says so the other thing is uh this is kind <laughs> of a test because oh. you guys both fucked up a little bit with demetrios and uh we want to see that you guys are actually committed to this job so uh yeah this is like a performance review right now so as a performance review in new alexandria I wonder if that means I should bust some caps or if they want me to focus more on de-escalating here. Hmm. Or detection. Uh, I'm just going to turn around and I'm just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done being a cop. <laughs> you just quit. Everything <laughs> we've already recorded of like the later sessions. It just doesn't exist anymore. Let me just yeah, delete those. I, I'm no longer a cop. <laughs> Let me just delete those files real quick. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and be like, okay, that's fair. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, is he a higher rank than me, I'm assuming, then? I mean, you definitely know that it was one of the whisperers who came, like the, the IA people who came and were questioning you guys. Yes. Um, and you know that the IA are basically all, if not like entirely changelings, just like Nikitas. So you can assume that's probably what this guy is. Cool. Well, let's just, uh, let's go ahead and I guess I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know how to get rid of these things. I don't know anything about methods. Um, He's like, well, look, they're, they're elementals. You just have to kind of beat the shit out of them. This definitely feels like a tutorial from... <laughs> uh, any Final game Fantasy. ever like I just picture our characters <laughs> <laughs> you see <laughs> monsters you just have to fight them and then they go away and then you move on so you see another one uh, I'm going to turn I guess back to the to the monsters um, I don't have this, the calming spell so I can't do that. If I'm I don't like that I don't think that works on these kinds of things anyway uh, maybe. Hmm. Oh, I do have calm emotions. There it is. <laughs> I probably haven't prepared, so I'm not gonna even try. Uh, I'm gonna bust a cap. I don't know what else to do. Okay, what well, what kind of cap are you busting? Well, I got my hand crossbow. Okay. So let's bust a cap. Do it. The nearest, uh, the nearest uh, Mephisto. Right, now we're getting sued by D and D themselves. <laughs> thirteen. And of course I didn't write down my attack bonus. That's okay. Thirteen hits. Okay, cool. Uh I think that's a is that a D six, I think, for hand crossbow. Maybe. I just kinda hope that you had it written down. It's fine. I'd never finished this character sheet ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's a five. Okay, cool. Is that with your bonus and everything? Okay, cool. All right, so it, it looks a little bit worse for wear, but not like it's on death's door or anything. You do oh, it's, wrong. It's, a, it's a D8. Ooh. So, oops. I mean, now you know. You live and learn. Yeah, oh well. Okay. So, uh, fake a toss is going to attack with this cudgel. Is, a, is the cudgel a D6 or a D8? Cudgel is a D4. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it's a D6, but a cudgel is a D4. Lame. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. 
he gets a four. Nice. Yeah. My and man. He, he smacks the same one. All right. Uh, I'm we didn't even roll for initiative. We just started fucking people up. We're going first, kind of. Weird how that works whenever there's only one person. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically we should, but I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to make okay. you do that right this second. Unless it was something where, like, speed mattered. But... So, anyway, um, one of them seems like it's a little bit bolder. Actually, uh -huh. the one that you just uh, popped a cap in and got cudgeled seems pretty angry and like it wants to get back at you. So it is going to run up on you and try run to up on your bitch fuck. like, oh. Exactly. As he runs up, he's like, oh. What's your AC? Uh, more than you can afford, asshole. <laughs> Ferrari. Uh, no, it's an 18. Okay. So, uh, what kind of armor do you wear? I can't remember. Uh, leather. Damn. Just but kidding. Just kidding. It's chainmail. <laughs> I, 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 I was trying to pull one over. <laughs> I was like, hold on. There's something not adding up here. Because my uh, dex is only a five. <laughs> so, as, as it runs up on you, it just like swipes at you with it, its claws. And uh, it does not penetrate. It does not get through your armor. You're like, ooh, that's, that's kind of warm. It's a little tingly, but it uh, doesn't actually hurt. Okay. The other two seem like they just kind of want to watch and see what's going to happen. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast... Uh, is it my turn again? Yeah. I want to cast Create Water. Okay at the one that's swiping at me okay just i don't know i got a feeling that if i put water on it <laughs> that'll help so it creates what a gallon something like that yeah okay are you just like dropping it on its head pretty much yeah yeah cool so as you do that it just becomes steamier it seems like maybe it grows a couple inches you know what I should have done? I should have done destroy water. Maybe. Hindsight is 50-50. <laughs> oh, I can create up to 10 gallons. Okay. But I feel like since I did one gallon, <laughs> it got bigger. 10 gallons might be a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just wait and see. <laughs> Keep those 10 gallons for your hats. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna all i can do so okay cool yeah thanks thanks man me or him all of us <laughs> thanks man the collective man normality or uh, not a toss do something he's like i mean that's that's definitely not my name and i don't know why he goes by those weird names are you gonna do something He's like, are you not even going to ask my name? What kind of asshole partner are you? I'll ask your name. It's going to be the movie montage. You haven't seen those yet, but trust me, your great, 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 great grandkids are going to love them. Okay, Marty. <laughs> All right, so he's going to run up and he's going to try to smack the one that just got a little bit bigger. And he do. <laughs> For four again. <laughs> my man. That's my lucky cudgel of D4ing. It's funny because he rolled a three both times, but he has a plus one. So hey, it's perfect. Yeah. All right. So um, that same one is uh, a little bit pissed off because he eh, just whatever. keeps getting he keeps getting smacked. And ooh, so as as he's getting pissed off. You see that he starts to become blurry. Like oh, he does no. something. You can't quite tell what. I won't even make you roll. It seems like it's some kind of like magical ability. And what had been like a relatively solid looking little steam dude becomes very blurry and it's hard to focus on. 
checks out. Sounds and the other right. two do the same. Cool. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like I probably cannot shoot them now if they're going to be like that. Maybe. So I don't know that I want to try. Kind of feels like it'd be a wasted time. Um, do I have a spell that's like wind? Do I have a wind spell? Is that a thing? Well, you know that water didn't do shit. At least nothing helpful. So, I mean, you, you could try earth, fire, and air, but... Yeah, I don't have any wind or any earth, but I do have fire. Let's try fire. Okay. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> What are you I'm doing? Gonna, I'm going to cast... Well, hang on. Before I make myself sound stupid, let me make sure this is even a spell that <laughs> I want to do. Uh, let's see. I guess I could do the whole destroy water thing still. I mean, that, that is water. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, fire. I, I was like, I don't know. You, you didn't tell me yet. Well, it's because I don't want you to hear it and then be like, that's not how that works. Please be dummy. I say being fully dumb myself. Yes, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame. Okay, remind me what that does. Uh, Flame-like radiance descends on a creature that you can see within range. The target must succeed on a dex saving throw or take 1d8 radiant damage. Nice. Okay. Uh, What's the uh, DC? It doesn't say. I mean, it would be your spell save. Oh. <laughs> right. Yes, I knew that. I was just testing you. Uh, That's okay. It definitely failed. Unless you have the worst spell save DC in the world. Uh, it doesn't say. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Best character. I mean, I say that. <laughs> when, uh, when my character on the 420 special, the whole reason why I was like, Oh, I know Zach wants me to cast a spell, but I'm not going to. It was because I literally did not write down or pick any spells before we started. <laughs> it's a 16. For my wizard. Or a 14. Okay, cool. I can't I can't tell if that's a six or a four. Yeah, it got a six total. So oh good. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, so uh, roll your damage. What did I say? D8? I already yeah, closed man. the book. D8. <laughs> Very smart. Seven. Nice. Was it just 1d8? Yeah. Okay. It goes All up right. after you level up, but I'm not that level yet. Flame. Yeah, boy. Only some asshole would let you level up. And that's you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, as you do that, it kind of like hunkers down and you see that it's like I think it, oh yeah, uh, so Courage the Cowardly Dog, the one where I think Eustace gets like a, a hair treatment and he starts getting really mad and he starts like shaking, he's like Arr, Arr, Arr. and it just like starts exuding even more steam than it already was like it, it gets very spicy cool and seems like it's charging up and it explodes so sweet, roll a dex check sweet, that is <laughs> Fuck, if I don't hit a 20, it's going to kill me, I bet. Uh, except you can't kill me because plot armor. Mm. It's a fucking two. <laughs> oh my God. Minus three. <laughs> so it's a negative one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You take, you take two. Oh, shit. Fire. <laughs> two? Yeah. Damn. I know you might not survive this, you third edition <sighs> wizard. <laughs> I feel like you're fudging the roll there a little bit. No, it 100% is a two. Yeah, it's only a d8 of damage. All this thing is self destructive Pokemon always takes out. I, know, Pokemon. Right? So I was like, ah, shit, here we go. Bion fainted. <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, now we're getting sued by Game Freak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, he exploded. 
So it is. Yeah, it's you just finished your turn, so it is yeah. uh, mysterious, unnamed because you haven't asked his name. Hey, not a toss. What, if you can kill the next one, I'll ask you what your real name is. He's like, I don't even care anymore. You're an asshole. You do care. It's okay, baby. <laughs> so he is going to attack one of the other ones. And yeah, he apparently cannot miss today. Ooh, he only got a three that time. You guys are lacking. They slacking. They lacking. <laughs> All right. So like by on, they aren't packing. Heat, Where are they? That is. Oh, they're they're hot. Red hot. Okay. Scalding anyway. hot even. What's the what's the what's the what? What? What's the next? What's happening now? He missed oh, with his it's your turn. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn? Oh shit. No, he actually steam. He not missed. Uh I think I can cast that spell again. Do it. Yeah, let's let's do it. I wonder if I purified water if that would destroy it. Nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> But destroying water make right. I mean, right from like a metagame sense, that makes sense. Oh come on, you know I'm you know I'm making sense here. It's fucking steam. That's just air water. I the won't top. tell you until we finish this episode. After we finish, when we roll credits, I will tell you the answer. I'm gonna do it, <laughs> <laughs> or you'll find out the answer the hard way now. <laughs> I'm gonna cast destroy water. <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay, I'm not doing that. Then. That was just a joke. I didn't even roll for it or anything. <laughs> Do you have to roll for it? <laughs> no. I didn't think no. so. <laughs> no, if you, if you want that to be what I did, that's fine. I don't, it's not going to hurt my feelings. The water has to roll a constitution save. It fails. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense that that would be what Bion tries. So, like, not to be a dick, but I mean... No, it makes sense to that's me. That's what Bion does. That's why I was doing it. Like, yeah. Yeah. But the law of physics says if I destroy water, <laughs> steam monster go away. Law is the law. So, like, when you cast destroy water, the steam that's, like, floating above it, it's like you give it a haircut briefly, but then immediately it just starts steaming again. Yeah, but for those couple of seconds, that was the sickest fade in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> Bion's going to double as a barber on the side, but only for steam methods. By God. <laughs> praise All him, right. praise Dale. Damn, he really cannot miss today. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> I gave those guys a sick fade, and then yeah. no, not a toss missed whenever he attacked. I believe he didn't. No, he hit. He did hit. Okay. Yeah, he got a five. He the beat it. He could possibly get. Nice, not a toss. Yeah. At least with a cudgel. I mean, he could get higher with something else. Yeah, yeah. Like somebody weird. could take him higher. But can you take me higher? Sue that Scott Stapp. Oh, he probably will. That's fine. He can have my five dollars. Um so anyway, the other two are gonna fuck off. They saw their their buddy pull a geo dude, and they're like, mm, not we're not having any of this. And uh they just they take off. They go out the back door. Oh, with law, steam boys. That's totally words in Greek for sure. Yes, yes. It's dwarven. Yeah. It's now canon. The dwarves speak French. <laughs> dwarves are French. Explains a lot. They, like I they love actually French in, they invented French. We now we're getting sued by all of France. But hey, France won't sue us. They'll just show up and cut our heads off. Shout out to True. France. True. Oh, bring the guillotine. That's not right. me dogging you. That's me, like, pumping you up. It's my time. My time Cut to shine. Cut my head off, French daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of this podcast forever. <laughs> <laughs> Let them eat baklava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. R.I.P. us. No, All right. no French person is ever going to see or hear this. So That's not true. Hold on. I know we've got some people over in the Europe, but I don't remember if we have France. So anyway, uh, what are you doing now? now uh, well, on. now that those guys have fucked off, uh, those steam guys, uh, they were pretty steamy. 
do I know where the head chef fucked off to? Or uh yeah, she's back out in like the lobby area. Okay. I'm go- oh oh ooh. Ooh, if I use create food, can I choose what food I'm creating, or is it just like random food? No, you can you can choose. You can I'd create like to... baklava you want. <laughs> uh, I would like to create a baklava pizza. <laughs> that is... Those Bavarian cream pizzas that either we used to have when we were like yeah, simple time. Yeah. Same idea, baklava. I could just make baklava, I guess. No, you nah. just invented baklava. How many pounds? Baklava. I can make forty-five pounds of baklava. Jesus. So, like, so, so you, you, Canon, now just created the meal challenge for the Warty Hog Tavern. Now that's like their their claim to fame after this is you have to eat the baklava pizza, the forty pound baklava pizza in uh, one setting, which is physically oh forty five. Forty five. For a second, I I was even confused about what I said. I thought I said Colt forty five. Colt 45 and some baklava. Maybe that's all. Rolls me. right off the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. It, does, it doesn't actually. It's okay. It's <laughs> they can't all be bangers. Oh, <laughs> uh, but why not? I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember where it is. There's somewhere that it shows me like where people are listening from so i'm kind of sad because never mind i'm not going to say that you've already allowed it it's 45 pounds of baklava wait what were you what were you sad about though it's, it know. says the food is bland but nourishing <laughs> my baklava would never be bland or I nourishing mean, probably you're, you're just a really shitty cook is what we now know canon wise well the point of what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to make baklava to get everybody to be like, oh, look what I did. I saved the war day, and also here's some food. And they're like, wow, this is not great. Hello, fellow chefs. <laughs> okay, so I am somewhat of a liar. Um, so I was right. We do have some European listeners. 4% mm-hmm. of our listeners are in Germany. Okay. Um, Guten Tag. 1% are UK. Less than 1% are from Ireland. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Slancha. Uh, also, less than 1% is Austria. Mm. Ooh. Hello. I but we, have, uh, we have some listeners in the Ukraine, which is pretty dope. Um, I don't know how to speak Ukrainian, so... I, I at one point... Because they, they always do, like, the glory to Ukraine thing. I really can't remember, and I would butcher it if I tried it now. Slava Ukraini? Something like that, yeah. But less American. <laughs> I think I'm close. I know it's Slava. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, we do not have any French listeners. But Germany, though. Germany, what up, my boy? <laughs> Send your boy some Stroopwafel. If you think it's better than baklava. I mean... That'd be a fight. Be a fight for sure. Stroopwafel would win. (laughs) But that baklava pizza, though. Baklava pizza, though. We start getting the shit like that, then it's like, well. Yeah. Get some of that, like, Boston cream filling with the baklava. Anyway, we're off topic here, man. Yeah, no, it's fine. I mean... We're probably getting pretty close to the end of the stream. I, I literally tried to do like something in game by making 45 pounds of baklava with my spell, and we still got off track. I mean, it was mostly about the baklava. So, anyway, what are you doing with it? The baklava? Yeah. Like, uh, like, I'm taking it out. I'm crazy. trying to like, I'm like, well, I was trying to be like, uh, listen, when you go through a traumatic experience, everybody knows that like having a nice, sweet, salty snack. Oh, so it's like an it's all like over. calming. It's like a hey, guys, like, I don't worry, I took care of it. And here, I also got you a snack. So the chef comes over and is like, wow, this looks amazing. And takes a bite of it and is like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank uh, you. Triggered. <laughs> <laughs> it's, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. 
Bion. Because like I'm assuming Bion being Bion would not pick up on that. He would just be like, ha, yes, you're welcome. Yeah, because he he definitely knows when like his friend and partner is acting odd. Anybody else though, he's just like, nope, no clue. Especially well, like, whenever no. like he did something, like whenever he did something that he's really proud of, then he just is totally unaware of any kind of like negative input. Well, think about it. Like it's like whenever I was playing when we were in the tavern, and I was like, I'm very rich, and I was giving out money, and <laughs> like thinking I'm doing the right thing, but really I'm being a dick. Same idea. Like he's just like, ha ha, yes, yes, you're welcome because I'm great. Except here he's not being a dick. He's just not very good at making baklava. He's very, very dumb, which is kind of funny because his charisma is a 13, so it's pretty decent, but, you know. But that doesn't have anything to do with, like, making good food. That's true. His dexterity is a 5. Maybe he couldn't get over there to beat the eggs in time. I would think, like, wisdom. It's a 17. Well, he should be good. I would think, like... I don't know. Like, dex would be some of it. Sometimes strength, like kneading dough, stuff like that. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I would so. think constitution for neat. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sorry, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the Ham Pod Cooking Show, where we discuss <laughs> which character we think can make the best baklava. It's Spoiler alert! Bion. It's Bion. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm it's Bion for sure. Yes. Says, yes. Uh, perfect. Perfect. Says not a toss. Oh, not a toss. You are so cute and devil- devilishly handsome. And he's like, I'm literally just gray. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to do is turn calm everybody down. Then I want to ask the head chef, where did those steamy steam stints come from? And she's like, I have no idea. But thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. So you um, weren't making steamy steam stint soup, correct? I have never heard of that, but I'm intrigued. I will I will look it up in the library myself, but thank you for that uh, direction. Well, be careful. Appreciate it. When you make them really angry, they explode. I saw that. I'm really glad that was you and not me. Yes, well, just doing my student duty. And I feel like as you're saying this, like your face is just beat red from the steam. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm basically, you have, like, a badass sunburn, but it's, like, from steam. Yeah. yeah, for sure. 100%. But, like, just your face and just, like, the front of your arms. Like, my beard is just, like, sopping wet right now. Yeah. From, like, the steam and sweat. Very moist. Very moist. <laughs> a moist cockles, if you will. It, it looks like you are sweating profusely, but it's just because you're steamy still. Oh, I'm quite steamy. <laughs> I kind of picture myself coming out of the kitchen, like, flinging my beard and, like, this, the water's, like... Maybe he's got it. Maybe it's dwarfaline. Maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's maybe oh maybe he's got it. Maybe it's meth steam. <laughs> oh, took, that's took, amazing. That's that's took, gonna be my next bullshit. Took ad, the old uh, nog in a second to get it, but I got it. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So uh, anyway, I think that's probably a pretty good place to end this session. I Hello, think everybody. Anybody who's out there watching, which I don't know if there is, just know that I appreciate you. Uh, Only Dan. I I don't know. I can't speak on his behalf, but I appreciate you. Vote for me for best baklava cook of 2022. (laughs) You don't get to sample any of it. Just do it. Just do the voting. Yeah. All right. So uh, thanks, everybody. Make a difference. What? I'm just talking shit. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> the usual. It's fine. I'll just ignore it. Uh, so anyway, thanks everybody for joining us tonight. Uh, this was kind of a last minute change that we had. And uh, I think we did all right. I think it was a pretty good game. Could have been, could have been, could have been worse. <laughs> I thought you were going to say could have been better. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> not, not that much of an asshole, my guy. Uh, depends on the day. It is Wednesday, my dude. Uh, you are true. You are true. All right. So, Arlie, did you just have to participate? Yeah, she does. She does. She's All right. Baby. Well, thanks, Dan, for coming to play tonight, and thanks, everybody, for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Love you. Good night. Sleep tight.